here's the fishing line problem that probably everyone will get in 3.5 web work. You are given four, five, six, seven lines with their probability to catch on each line. And then you are asked how many lines to maximize the probability of catching at least two fish. So here you really have to understand what's going on with four lines and 0.71. Four lines and 0.71 is actually saying that you have a Bernoulli trial with n equals 4 and p equals 0.71. Since each, the probability of each line of catching a fish is independent, and also you're really basically repeating it four times, then you really have a Bernoulli trial with four trials, p equals 0.71. And we want to know probability of catching at least two fish. Again, the keyword at least is here, so we're going to be using a multiple scenario. This isn't failure. Again, this is going to be from 2.3 video, the how, how multi multiple scenario work, and also in the 3.5 lecture that should be included how this works as well, so if you're not familiar, go back and visit. We have zero, one, two, three, and four success. We have four, three, two, one, zero failures. Here we want at, le at, at least two fish, so at least two success. Here's at least two, here's at least two, here's at least two. This is one is not at least two, and zero is not at least two. So you can see here it's going to be easier to take one minus these. So we're going to be taking one minus. And here again, I will assume that you're familiar with basic Bernoulli formula. If you're not, go back and visit the lecture to see how this works. Here we have combination, four trials, zero success, and then probability of success is 0.71 to the zero, which the probability of failure is going to be 0.29 the fourth. And then we also have to subtract one success, which is 4 choose 1, 0 0.71 to the 1, 0 0.29 to the 3, one success and three failures. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to punch it out here. So you can, you calculate this and this is going to be turn out to be some probability. So this is the probability of uh, four lines catching at least two fish. So let's say you might write down the probability here. And then for five fish, you're going to be doing the same thing. You're going to say n equals 5, and then p is going to be 0.67 this time. So you create the table again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number of successes, number of failures, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And again, at least two fish is going to be anything from the right of 2. So we're looking at the same chunk where we're going to subtract 1 from. Subtract from 1. So here we're going to have 1 minus 5, uh, 5 to 0, 0 success. So here's 0 success. And uh, this is not going to be 0.71 anymore. Yeah, so p equals 0.67. Here's going to be 0 0.67 to the 0. And then 0 0.23 is going to be its complement to 1. So here we have point 0.2. We're going to have point Point, point three three, yeah, point three three to the to the fifth and minus five choose one, uh, point six seven to the one and here's one success, four failures, and then that's going to come out to some number 
that's going to be probability of five lines, uh, catching at least two fish. And then you can put that right here. And then you do all four of them. And then all you have to do is find out which one. And then all you have to do is going to be find out which one is the max. And everyone will get different numbers, but here's the idea again. However, however many of number of lines, that's your n. Your probability of catching on each line for that number of lines, that's going to be your p associated with that n. And then you set up a multiple scenario, and then you you're usually taking the cross, and then you're taking one minus all the crosses, and then you find out each probability, and then after you find all four of them, compare and say max. A little trick I can recommend you for this problem. This is going to be a really time consuming one, and I can give you fairly certainty that this will not appear in the test. So you might as well take your chance, because you get three tries. You have three-fourths probability that you'll get it right just from guessing. Uh, this is usually the approach I give to my students. So just guess on this one instead of do all this stuff. But it's up to you.